Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. Today we're going to be reviewing HibaCleanse. It's a CDC recommended cleansing agent which you can put on your hands and it's going to basically destroy any viruses or bacteria that you come into contact with six hours after the application. So let's check it out. As many of you know, as of June 11th, 47 million chickens have been culled due to contracting a strain of the avian influenza. So it's very important that we are vigilant with respect to our pandemic preps, as of course many epidemiologists are predicting some sort of global pandemic to happen in the near future. So what HibaCleanse is, basically it's something that you put on your hands and for several hours afterwards, it's going to inactivate any sort of flu virus or most bacteria that you would come into contact with. So it just gives you that extra added protection over normal soap, which would only kill off viruses, uh, if it was antimicrobial, of course, when you had washed with it. But this is actually going to have lasting effects for about four to five hours afterwards. Spin it around so you can read everything here. You can just pause the video. If you would like more information on the product. So I learned about this product through Portblog's video about uh, avian influenza outbreak. And basically the CDC has recommended that people utilize this as a means to prevent the spread of any sort of disease that should arise. So HibaCleanse, Chlorhexidine, Gluconate... Definitely get yours. The price of it definitely varies from $5 to $20, depending on the size of the bottle, of course. You can get bigger jugs of it. Uh, this is a smaller bottle. This costs about $10, so it depends, really. I think in the United States, it's a little bit cheaper, of course, as everything is. Canada, we pay a little bit more. But check out HibaCleanse if you're wanting to get that extra edge when it comes to pandemic preparedness. All right, I just have a couple more products to show you really quickly that might be useful to you in the instance of a global or local pandemic. All right, folks, so I have Pipsqueak Prepper here to help me model the Curad antiviral face mask, which will basically inactivate the swine flu and bird flu viruses, the only FDA-approved product to do so that's a face mask. So Pipsqueak, what does it feel like to wear the Curad antiviral face mask? Like, um, in the inside, it feels kind of fluffy, but basically it's kind of scraping my eyes. Scraping your eyes. Well, that's not good. How does it smell? It smells like vinegar. That's not good. How long do you think you could wear this mask for without going crazy? Maybe half an hour, hour-ish. Half an hour. Well, that could potentially save your life. How well does the mask fit? Well, it kind of fits a little loose because, you know, I'm kind of young-aged. Right, and your head is underdeveloped. But don't worry, you'll get there someday. Okay, so Pipsqueak Prepper, why on earth would we ever want to burden ourselves by wearing a mask like this? Maybe there's something like in the air that's like really bad for you to smell. And um, if you smell it, then you could probably get a disease and die. So that's why we wear this. Very straightforward and to the point. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for helping me out. You're an excellent model, and someday you probably won't even be a pipsqueak, so good luck to you on growing your head. The third and final great prep that I think you should have for pandemic preparedness is pool shock, what most people know it as. Basically, it's calcium hypochlorite. It's something that you can mix with water to make bleach, so one tablespoon of this will make a gallon of bleach pretty much, and that bleach, of course, will disinfect your space or whatever you need it to disinfect. So it's a great thing. Bleach, of course, has an expiration date, so don't think about stockpiling bleach for any potential disaster. You're going to want to stockpile calcium hypochlorite because this right here is going to make hundreds, if not a thousand gallons of bleach. And of course, with that bleach, you can also use it to purify water to drink. So this is an excellent prep to have. This only cost me about $16. $16, bucks, folks, for potentially thousands upon thousands of gallons of clean drinking water. So definitely get yours while you can. Check out the Canadian Prepper Network blog, an excellent resource for Canadian survivalists and preppers.